Okay, so I want um, this um, where uh, this, the extrinsic parameter matrix, is the first three rows of the um, world to camera transform. And I'll indicate that uh, using MATLAB notation, uh, namely that uh, I want rows one through three and all the columns here. Okay, so if I can find the H matrix from world to camera, I can do this. Um, it's actually easier to find the camera to world transform. So uh, from before, if I look at what I had before, I knew the uh, vehicle to world and camera to vehicle. So I'll multiply uh, vehicle to world times uh, camera to vehicle, right? And again, the convention is that the, um, whoops, that the um, leading subscript cancels the trailing uh, superscript here. Um, okay, so I know that um, from the previous page. So let's go ahead and compute that, and then, um, then we can come back and compute this. Okay, so let me bring up MATLAB here. I'll open up a um, new script here. Okay, um, and I'll start by doing clear all uh, and close all. I like to do that at the start of each program. So looking at my um, my assumed transforms from before, I had the rotate or the transformation matrix from vehicle to world. I'm going to write it like this: was one zero zero five uh, zero minus one zero 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 minus one one, and then I put zero. 0, 0, 1 at the last row. Okay. Um, the transformation matrix from um, from camera to vehicle is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 2, and then 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Um, now I can go ahead and multiply those two together as shown here. So that will become H from camera to world is H from vehicle to world times H from camera to to vehicle. Okay, um, then I can take the first three rows of that as shown here. That'll be called uh, MEXT. So it'll be H. Oh, wait, first thing, I'm sorry, first thing I want to do is invert this. So let me just make a note of that. So I really want um, H from world to camera. And that I get by inverting uh, camera to world, just taking the matrix inverse. So I have to do that. Um, so that's world to camera is INV, that's matrix inverse camera to world. Okay, now I can do the first three rows of that matrix. Um, I'll just display that uh, just to show what that looks like. 
Okay, um, and then we can just go ahead and um, do the projection. So that is k times mext times p world. And what is p world? I should have defined that. That is, um, see if I go back to this page, it's 16, 0, minus 1. and then one in the last uh, row. All right, um, and then finally I should divide through by the third element of P so that I can do with this statement uh, P of three. And that should give me my image point. So let me go ahead and run that. I'll save this. Um, whoops, got an error here. Undefined K. Oh, I forgot to define the matrix K. <laughs> okay, so K is um, I said the focal length was 512 so and the center was at 256. So second row is 0, 5, 12, 2, 56. Third row is 0, 0, 1. OK, run that again. Um, OK, so now we get, um, here's our um, extrinsic uh, camera, camera matrix. This is 3 by 4. And here is our projected point. And that kind of makes sense if you look at it um, you know, the, the uh, point is um, basically in the middle of the image, so that's the 256 uh, from left to right, and it's, uh, it's in the lower part of the image, so uh, it's 460, which is below 256. All right, um, to move along, uh, another thing you can do with this is to consider the back projection of a point. So I start with an image point, and I want to um, see where that arises in the scene. So um, the 3D point is not uniquely defined because it's the projection of a 3D point onto a 2D point. So what you can do is compute the ray that comes from the camera center out through the image point to infinity. So any 3D point along that ray could have projected to the image point. Um, so here is the uh, camera center, here's the image point, and, and this is the ray passing through that. So um, to do this, to compute this ray, we find the normalized image coordinates of our point. So we take our pixel location in the image, multiplied by the inverse of the camera calibration matrix, and that gives us normalized image coordinates. And normalized image coordinates are just, uh, what, x over z, y over z, 1. Uh, effectively, we have focal length 1, and the image center is in the center of the image. So um, this, this x norm is a, uh, you can think of this as a 3D vector with uh, z equals 1 here. So I just take um, that vector and scale it by any amount s, and that gives me all the points along this ray here. 